So interesting story. We came across a woman died after being advised to have breast enlargement surgery and a tummy tuck at the same time in order to save money. Louise Harvey died on July 5th last year, having undergone the operations uh, June 17th, a post-mortem examination revealed that the mother of three died from a bilateral pulmonary embolism, a blood clot that occurs in the lungs and secondary causes, recorded as breast augmentation and abdominoplasty, the medical term for a tummy tuck. And, you know, it's it's kind of an interesting area when it comes to cosmetic surgery because I think sometimes people have the tendency to forget that it's still major surgery and to be very careful about how you go about it. So he was with us last week. We're bringing him back. Dr. Stephen Mulholland, founder of Spa Medica. He is one of Canada's top cosmetic plastic surgeons. Welcome back to the show. Thank you for this. Well, thank you, Barb. So let's talk about multiple surgeries. It's not unheard of. It does happen. But people, uh, I guess, have to be very careful when it comes to doing something like that. You know, um, this highlights a very important point is that uh, a lot of patients do view getting cosmetic surgery as walking into Holt Renfrew and buying a coat or Mm -hmm. some department store and buying a coat uh, because it is so common and it typically is performed on healthy young uh, people like this woman. And typically it's very, very safe, but there are serious risks and those risks need to be discussed, considered, and to a great extent prevented against wherever possible. So it's a tragic story that highlights an important fact that, you know, this is still a surgery and and even an elective hernia. An elective hernia operation has a 1 in 50,000 mortality rate. And so it's very important that uh, patients understand that this is a risky business and it needs to be done safely in a certified center. And uh, multiple procedures are very common, a breast augment with liposuction, liposuction with a tummy tuck, tummy tuck with a breast and lipo procedure. There's a very common combination treatments and your risks do go up marginally. And once in a while, someone will, will die, even though the best efforts may have been done to, um, to minimize that risk. There still are unfortunate events that happen in any, medic- any medical procedure. So it's hard for us to step inside and say what was really done and not done. But one of the most common complications of any surgery, orthopedic, plastic surgery, is a blood clot in the veins deep in the leg around the calf. And sometimes, um, unfortunately, those clots can propagate and start traveling up your veins and move towards the lungs. And when they lodge in the lungs, suddenly, as happened with this patient, a week later, it can cut off the air supply and, and be fatal, and that's called a pulmonary embolism. And so, yeah, we do try to anticoagulate. We do try to limit surgery less than six hours. We do keep patients overnight. We do give them blood thinners. And it's hard from the story to dissect whether this was done, but it's important to note even if it is done, in a certain very rare um, number of, of cases, it can still happen in the best of hands. I feel like I've, I've read uh, a number of stories over the years of people going ahead with cosmetic surgery and not fully disclosing uh, medical issues because they're so eager to get the surgery done. And this really highlights how important it is to talk about any past medical issues before you go ahead with a surgery. That is so true. And in this case, there may have been a family history of blood clots, which is called a hypercoagulable state, fancy medical jargon for you're at risk for blood clots. And that's important to disclose that. And, and whether you're a smoker, um, whether you have any other um, uh, what's called phlebitis or inflammation of your veins, um, you've had children, you may be predisposed to this. And so, um, yeah, it, it just highlights that cosmetic surgery, like having an elective hip for hip pain, elective hip joint surgery comes with risk. And you need to really, um, you know, do your diligence, make sure you're healthy, make sure the physician and the healthcare team does the appropriate investigations. And, uh, and that um, at the end of the day, there still is a rare incidence where bad things can happen to good people. Uh, despite the best intentions and best medical care. Is it always um, a good plan to not decide on surgery because how, of how cheap it is? You know, this is a, an important issue because as you do more procedures, almost every plastic surgeon is going to offer opportunities where if you're doing second and third procedures, you're not going to pay the, the full list or published price um, because you're already there. And so... You know, they slanted the story like she was talked into it because it was cheaper. Typically, 
If you do a second and third procedure, you don't pay as much, not so much as an enticement to do the procedure that makes it risky, but mm. because it just makes economic sense. Not to say that breast augmentation and tummy tuck combinations is extremely common in North America and it's not considered malpractice to do that. In fact, it's often the standard of care to offer two procedures because remember, if you do a breast augment separate than your tummy tuck, you have now doubled your rare risk of something happening twice because you're now having two surgeries instead of one. Sure, and you can probably probably save money because you've got an entire medical team already there and you're not paying for that twice. That is true. And so there are economies of scale, but no physician is going to say, you know, you should you should do this risky procedure by adding a procedure because it's cheaper. Got Typically, it. um, you're going to do the second procedure because it's still perceived as safe. It's still the standard of care and you have one recovery. Remember, if she had done, let's say, a tummy tuck, and then six months later did a, um, a breast augment, she's now doubled her risk of two separate anesthetic events. Got it. Dr. Stephen Mulholland, always great to have you on. Thank you. Thanks. Not a fun topic, but it's an important one because consumers and patients need to realize, hey, it's very safe, but you got to ensure it's safe by disclosing your medical history and understand even in the best of circumstances, still a risk something bad can happen. Great advice. Thank you for that. Dr. Stephen Mulholland, founder of Spa Medica, one of Canada's top cosmetic plastic surgeons. Uh, the website is spamedica.com.